and I started, I just started to feel really fatigued um, to the point where I could feel it in my throat. Um, and just, just the thought occurred to me, you know, if I really push myself, then I'm going to make myself sick. Hey guys, it's David. So the motivation for today's video comes off the back of one of my recent swim training sessions where I really struggled and ultimately failed to complete the session. And I wanted to share with you um, my learnings and reflection on that as to why I was unable to complete the session and struggled as much as I did. So to start off with, I'll give you some context as to the session. Um, it's an endurance session where I swim the same distance over and over again. So 100 meters for a set number of times. Um, and with each time, um, I get progressively less rest. So I start off swimming at a pace where I'm relatively comfortable and get nice amounts of rest. And it continues progressively getting harder and harder until the final repetition where it's an all out sprint. Now, the point at which this session starts to get difficult and playing on my mind mentally is about six repetitions towards the end. So the first three of those six, um, I'm getting no rest, but swimming at a pace where I'd be comfortable swimming that for, for quite a reasonable length of time. So it's just, it's almost my continuous pace um, that, that I'm comfortable swimming at. Um, and, and the reason why that's a bit mentally difficult is because I'm just not getting any rest. And yeah, it's, 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 there's, there's no reward for it and therefore it starts to get mentally a bit difficult, but, but not too bad in the grand scheme of things. Then the next two is where I have to push um, almost at a threshold pace. So again, I'm getting um, next to no rest, having to make this time where I'm really working. And yeah, th this is the point where, you know, it, you know, it really ramps up and I've really got to push myself through. Um, and especially with the, the just, just the idea of the final sprint in mind, um, it really makes me have to think about um, how I approach those two. If I go too fast, I'll burn myself out and won't have enough in the tank for the final sprint. But if um, I go too slow, then I don't make the time and fail the session. So normally when I do this training session, I normally fail it on the final sprint, um, if I fail it at all. So that's the point where, you know, I just, I just don't make the time on the final sprint, um, which is okay, because otherwise, you know, the rest of the session is fine. But on this, during this session, um, I approach the hard bit, so so the so you know into the into the final six final six repetitions, um, and I started I just started to feel really fatigued um, to the point where I could feel it in my throat, um, and just just the thought occurred to me, you know, if I really push myself, then I'm going to make myself sick, you know, and just just come out with a cough. Um, and yeah, there, there's potential here that I make myself so sick um, that I, you know, that, that I have to take time off and can't swim. Um, and because of that, I, of, of those, of those three where I swim at the continuous pace, I, f I came into the wall, um, turned around, um, and to go off to the fourth and to go off into the fourth one where I start have to push, push myself, um, at, at a threshold pace. Um, I just didn't. My brain was like, no, not happening. Um, and yeah, so so at that point, I, I just gave myself some time to, you know, just, yeah, just, just decompress um, and, and sort of think through what had happened there and as to why my, you know, just as to why my brain said no um, at that point in time. Um, gave myself a little bit of about a minute or two's rest and then went off to go and do a, a recovery swim. Um, so after reflecting on that session for a while, there are, there are two reasons as to why that happened. So the first was that because I'd ramped up my training in view of a competition um, at the end of October, um, I hadn't factored in um, an appropriate additional level of sleep. 
So when we, you know, the, the benefits of the training session come through sleep. That's that's where the muscle main main time the muscle growth occurs is, is during the rest period. Um, and because I hadn't allowed myself um, additional additional rest, additional sleep, um, I wasn't giving my body the opportunity to to recover from from those additional training sessions. And therefore, when I got into this training session after after at the end of a of a long week's training i just wasn't able to approach it with the intensity that i wanted to and um yeah that's that's one that's that's uh, one thing that you've got to factor in when um when striving for health goals is are you resting enough to give um your body the best chance of dealing with the level of stress that you're putting on it be that weight loss or training for a competition, um, trying to get fitter, et cetera, et cetera. Are you, are you giving your body the opportunity to rest and recover? Um, and, and if you're just, you know, even if you're trying to lose weight and not exercise it, and, and you know, you, you, you're not really pushing yourself for exercising, you want to do it all through diet alone, you know, that, that puts a level of stress on your body. And if you don't get enough uh, sleep, then, you know, you start to crave things, you start to crave, um, you know, you start to crave things that are high in, in calorific value, high in calories, because, um, you know, your, your body is craving energy, and you haven't, you know, and you haven't recuperated, um, you haven't, because by not getting enough sleep, you haven't recruit, recuperated enough to, to really bring in those energy levels. So therefore, sleep is just incredibly important. And rest is incredibly important in that regard. Um, and then the second, the second reason why, as to, to why I didn't um, um, wasn't able to bring my full intensity to that training session, is just because um, because there was a change in the swim timetable, and when um, and when the you know the pool had sessions available for me to go and train. Um, I was training during the time when my body was still waking up. So previously, um, pre on the previous swim timetable, I woke up, I ate my breakfast, I allowed my body to sort of get out of that groggy state, um, um, allowing you know just just getting getting my head in day, uh, getting my head in gear for the day, planning out my day. Um, then I'd go off to the pool do my training session, then get on to work. Um, whereas by getting up at the same time and the way that the swim timetable had changed, um, I had to get up, go straight to the pool. And because of that, I hadn't given my body enough time to wake up. And similarly, I also hadn't eaten breakfast. So I was running on empty. Um, and therefore, I think it's just, it's really, really important you know, just to be aware of the timings of when you do things, um, your body's natural cycles and how food affects your body from a time basis. Because if you don't fuel it, you know, you've had a, after waking up, you've had a long time of fasting um, and, and not eating. So therefore, you know, you, you, you're sort of running on empty until the point where you, where you eat breakfast and you'll fuel it. Um, so I think in light of that, it's really, really important to be aware of your body's natural processes and rhythms so that you can align your schedule with them so that you can get the most out of your energy levels. Um, yeah, so I think, I think two, two really key things to be aware of there is, is match you know, when you are increasing your in, when you're increasing the intensity of the things that you're doing, make sure that you also, you know, increase the amount of time that your body has got to rest and recover. You know, you also you also need to factor in greater, um, you know, rest periods as well. And then secondly, also just being aware of your body's natural processes and rhythms and aligning your daily schedule with that so that you are maximizing the times when your body um when when your body has the most energy 
Um, and and that, that's the point where you're doing your most intense activities at the day so you, so you can maximize that potential. So my two key learnings there from that training session. And yeah, hope you I hope you took something away from that. Hey guys, it's David. Did you enjoy today's video? If you did, please may I ask of you three favors. The first is to like today's video. This really helps me to understand whether you've enjoyed it or taken something away from it and therefore should produce more content just like it. The second is to subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube and like slash follow my page if you're on Facebook. This means that you'll be the first to receive any new content that I produce. Finally, please share this video with your family and friends, especially if you found it helpful. This really helps me to get my message out there in front of many people as possible and therefore I'd greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, thank you for watching today's video and I invite you to stick around to check out some more.